You are watching the grand finals of the R3 Speed Bonanza BTD YouTuber Tournament 2020. I will play a best of 5 with Asian Sensation and the first person to win 3 games is the champion of this tournament. I'm gonna live commentate because I think you guys like me to live commentate. So we have Dartling, um, farm, um, Dartling Farm Wizard in this game. Gonna start with a farm, a 1-0 farm, then go for my Dartling. I'm also gonna send... Okay, I'm gonna turn off the sound. I, I'm sending blues at him to force some defense. I'm gonna get powerful darts. I don't know if I really needed that. So, okay, we have Price Gouge, Improved Bloom Boost, and Better Soil. So I think Price Gouge can be used when he is trying to get a facility. Better Soil can be used somewhere around, uh, round, um, probably round 8 on, and onwards when we are trying to get our facility. And Wizard is for defending Let's. So for round 11 defense, I would probably just spam Lightning Wizards. So Better Soil will last 3 rounds. Um, I'm probably going to use Better Soil once I get a Republic and 3 Plantations. It's probably about the best time to use that power. I'm going to rush him with some Yellows to distract him. Uh, it probably doesn't do much. Okay, he's rushing me. I'm gonna get this lightning. So this is probably going late. I'm probably gonna spam uh, the entire map with phoenixes. So I need 6,500. Okay, I price gouge him so he can't get his facility. And I'm also going to use Better Soil. And I'm going to rush him right now since he has no money. I mean, he has a lot of money, so he needs to buy defense now. I'm just going to extend my farm lead. So for round 11 defense, I'm just going to spam Lightning Wizards with Camel Detection. Should be a pretty easy defend. Not really concerned about round 11. Let's just farm. Okay, round 12. Let's use better soil. Um, and I'm also going to price gouge him so that it, his farms are more expensive. Uh, let's get these to fire in case he decides to rush me. I think he's rushing me right now, but... Oh, he's not rushing me. He's just using price gouge to make my farms more expensive. So I'll just place 0, zero farms and when this price gouge runs out, I will upgrade them to facilities and I think I can use my last better soil oops that's a badly placed farm gonna sell it I think I have slightly better micro than Asian sensation so I should have an advantage in this game in terms of spamming Wait a minute, I think I should be spamming Ray of Doom instead. Ray of Doom is slightly better than um, Phoenixes, I think. So yeah, I'm gonna spam Ray of Doom. So these farms to... Okay, let's price gouge him one last time. And I think I can try to rush him round 22 with fast cooldown. ZOMGs. Okay, he price gouged me, so I can't really build defense. It's gonna be too expensive. Maybe I'll just place 0 0 Dartlings to upgrade later. It's probably gonna send me some um, BFBs, which is not going to do anything. Um, I'll just send him one slow cooldown ZOMG. It's not gonna do anything, but I'm just sending it to distract him and he might choke to this, but I don't think he will. It's too easy to defend. It's round 22 already. He could send me fast cooldown ZOMGs. Okay, I think that's what he's doing right now. 
but I am pretty sure this is quite easy to defend. Yeah, those are getting shredded right away, so he's just wasting his money and sending me. Okay, I need a farmer, so let's place it. Yeah, his rush is not doing anything, and I have more farms than him, so it gives me extra money. I'll send him another slow cooldown ZOMG just for fun. It's not meant to do anything. Okay, it looks like he's gonna stop rushing because he's realizing it's a waste of money. Um, so this loadout, this Dartling, it's probably gonna last until round 30... Um, 35, I think. I think round 35. So right now, um, there's no need to place any towers. I'm just gonna farm and wait. Then later on, we can spam towers. We can spam Ray of Dooms. They're probably a lot better than spamming Phoenixes. But I just hope that he doesn't price gouge me because I don't know if he has a price gouge left. But if he does, um, if he uses it, it's gonna stop me from buying Ray of Dooms. So it could be a problem. But I have more farms than him, so I think I already have the money advantage. I don't think I need to greed that much. So we can just spam um, Ray of Dooms. So I have three Bloom Boosts left. Uh, okay, another useless rush by him. I'm just gonna build defense. This rush is too weak, it's not gonna do anything. Maybe he's just trying to distract me, but it's not even distracting me, I'm just building towers. Um, I don't really know if you need to buy the right side upgrades for a Ray of Doom, but I'm just gonna do so in case it helps. Probably doesn't really help. I'll send one ZOMG to him, see how his defense um, holds against this. I don't know why he needs um, Tempest Tornado, because Ray of Doom is gonna instantly destroy anything that is below a Moab. Okay, he's gonna rush with this. I think this is a useless rush, but we'll see. Okay, I think I should rush him. My defense is slightly better than his, so even if I can defend, he might not be able to. So we'll see. Okay, I probably should have placed more Ray of Dooms. We'll use our phoenixes. Um, is he gonna die here? Ray of Doom. Sell this, place Ray of Doom. I think he's dead. I'm just gonna continue sending and he's gonna die eventually. See ya. Okay, that's 1 0. Okay, game number two with Sniper Village and Mortar. I think I'll start with Mortar. Bernie stuff. Okay, I can't afford it yet. So round two, um, we will see some pinks. I think this is the best place to place my sniper. Uh, let me get Bernie stuff to defend pinks, and I also have a sniper. Okay, he's not going to send pinks, which is kind of smart because it maximizes his eco. I think maybe here could be a better mortar spot. So I also have Eco Choke. I could use it when I'm rushing him, I guess. Um, rushes won't work until at least round 22 because Mortar Stall will defend anything below ZOMGs. Upgrade it to Bloom Buster. Um, round 6 he could send yellows. Um, yellows could be a bit difficult. Okay, I also need to figure out where I want to micro my towers. I guess I could micro my mortar ability at the top right corner. Therefore, I wanna get my second mortar here. 
Um, I should probably get Signal Flare. I don't really need it yet. But eventually I should. Oh right, I could use this spot for my Mortar as well. Hmm, I'm thinking of getting two big ones. One at the top right corner and one at the bottom left. Like, uh, it's where they should be targeted. So let me change this targeting here. Oh, I might leak a bit. I don't think it really matters. Okay, round 8, we're gonna send pinks. And the budget balloons, I'm gonna save them for sending zero MGs. Um, soon enough, I could get a village. Oh, it looks like he's getting a village next to his mortar, and that's smart because um, his big one would be able to detect camel. That's a good idea. I should probably steal his idea. Okay, he's gonna get his village, like um, Monkey Town, to get more eco. Oh, eco choke, so he might rush me. Okay, he's gonna try to rush me. Um, hopefully I don't choke to this. Radar scanner. Okay, it looks fine. Um, so the next rush we have to worry about would be um, fast cooldown ZOMGs. I'm not very sure if we can defend that. We have Big Bloom slow. Um, we can use Cripple Moab to stall ZOMGs, but it could be difficult. But this map is pretty long, so it's possible to pop ZOMGs on this map. That's what I'm thinking. But uh, we have Budget Bloom, so we probably can send many sets of ZOMGs. So we're gonna rush round 22 with all out zero MGs and he's probably gonna counter and it's gonna be like a monster soul battle. Fortunately I have better micro than him I think. So I'll get two big ones. Um and I'll start echoing at round 18. Okay, let's stop echoing. Um Cripple more, Cripple more. I think I want energy beacon. Let's see how easy it is to place. Wow, it's kind of difficult. Maybe I should micro my motor at this spot. Yes, it looks much easier. So okay, it's settled then. Um, I am I'm thinking I need another big one, which is under the village. In that case, we can place snipers. Um, first, he might decide to all out me on round 20 with fast cooldown BFPs, but I wouldn't recommend that rush. So I guess he's also waiting for round- oh, he's gonna send one ZMG. Um, that's okay. I stalled it pretty well, but I guess his plan is to cause me to waste my boosts or maybe waste my abilities. Okay, gonna start the rush right now. So some zero MGs, uh, I think I'll save some money for eco. Okay, he's gonna counter me. Um, okay, let's see who wins, I guess. Um, I also have Big Bloom Slow. This rush actually might be defendable, I'm not very sure. Oops, I almost choked. Um, it's a good thing I have 2,000 eco, so I can use the money to um, buy mortar stall. Um, looks like his ZMG is far. My cripple Moab is better than his. 
Um, I could use Big Balloon Slow here. He probably forgot about his Big Balloon Slow. I think he ran out of money. Um, I think he doesn't have any Eco, so I should be able to win this game. Uh, this is kind of why I kept 2,000 Eco. She's sending me Ceramics, Last Resort. Okay, 2-0. I'm feeling pretty good about this series. I don't think he can reverse sweep me. This is game three. We are playing on cards. Okay, let's look at what towers we have. Um, Ninja, Mortar, Ace. Okay. I think I'll start with Mortar targeting here. Then I'll probably get... Um, Okay, I'm gonna eco choke him. I'll probably get Ninja to defend pinks. Oops. Here is probably a good spot. I'm sorry for the background noise. I already tried to minimize the background noise as much as possible. Oh, I forgot to get Bernie stuff. Okay, so we have super eco boost, balloon snipe, eco choke. Um okay, we can use super eco boost round um 6, 8, and 11. I think that's about the best time to use those. Let's get Balloon Buster. Eventually, I want to get an Operation Dart Storm over here, and it's gonna be pretty safe. Okay, I think we can almost afford it. Okay, we still need 3,000. I could sell this, and then I'll need 2,360. He's eco choking me. <laughs> they don't have money to eco. Okay, we are slightly leaking to those yellows. I'm gonna save up a bit of money then. Oh, I forgot to use my super eco boost. Oh, he's also leaking. Oh no, I got the wrong upgrade. I hope I doesn't. I don't choke to this. <laughs> that was kind of scary. Okay, I think we're fine now. I think 8 path should be the best on this map. It looks pretty good. It looks like a pretty good path. So I'm gonna use my last... No, it's my second super eco boost. And it looks like he's saving up money to rush me. Okay, he's ecoing, so that's okay. Eco choke again. He might decide to all out me around 11, I don't know. Operation Dark Storm should be enough. Okay, I don't have money. Please don't choke to this. Don't choke, don't choke. <laughs> Balloon Snipe. Okay, I was panicking. Okay, I want to get these um, aces to not be in sync. Okay, last super eco boost. Okay, we are fine now. Um, this is probably gonna be a micro challenge. What I mean is, like, whoever can spam abilities more quickly wins, maybe. Because we are pretty much fine against any rushes until... Uh oh, he's sending these. Sneaky rush. Uh oh, please don't choke. <laughs> that was pretty scary. Pretty scary. <laughs> I didn't realize I had no camel uh, let detection. Well, technically, pineapples can detect camelets, but you know how bad they are. Okay, um, so I'm probably just gonna eco until round um, 30 maybe? No, this map is short, so this map is short, but we have sabotage supply lines. So it's kind of like double this, uh, this map's length of time for me to ground zero. We also have Bloon Snipe, but it's not going to help much against fast cooldowns UMG. He seems to be building Bloon Jitsu, so I guess that's a good idea if... I think Bloon Jitsu might be better than... Is it? Is it is Bloon Jitsu better than Spectres? I... Um, Spectres are definitely better against Ceramics. But Bloon Jitsu does a lot of damage and it's really small. I guess it comes down to how much money we have. If we have a lot of money, then 
I guess we could spam the Jitsus, but if we are running out of money, then I guess Spectres are the way to go. I'm thinking... I'm thinking round 33 would be the time to all out. Because this map is one of the shortest maps. It's not really that short, but it's one of the shorter maps, not one of the shortest. So if if he rushes me, I could just sabotage supply lines and spam ground zeros. Now I'm thinking if Plunjitsu's or Operation Dark Storms are better. I don't know. He's getting the big one. Would that be you? Uh, would that be good? I think that would be good against Moabs and Ceramics, but we have Spectre for that. I guess I, I could get both. So anyways, I'm gonna wait until... Do I have the time to build those towers? Because I don't know what round he's rushing me. If he rushes me early, then I might not have enough towers to defend. Okay, we are slightly struggling. I'm gonna try not to choke, get a spectre to be safe. So this should be quite safe until at least um, when he sends me stuff. We're not gonna die to anything below a Moab if I have a spectre, unless the spectre doesn't target ceramics, if you know what I mean. So it's almost time to stop echoing, but not quite yet. I think I'll stop at round... Um, I'll stop at round 28. Then I'll rush him at round 33. And between round 28 and 33, I'll just spam towers and see if he wants to all out me. Okay, he's gonna... Um, okay, he's not rushing, it's the AI that is rushing me, but I'll just sabotage supply line instead. Okay, it's round 28, let's stop echoing and get up our monkey aces. I don't think the path really matters, so I'm just gonna um, not change the path. He is spamming Plunjitsu, and I know that Plunjitsu is pretty good for damage. But I don't know how good it really is. Let's get the big one here. Um, I think I should get utterly battery. So where do I micro? I guess I'll micro over here. He is spamming so many Blinjitsus. I better micro these fast. Just gonna get a few more subtle touch supply lines to be safe. Um, I did say I want to rush him at round 33, but um, I guess we'll see how good his defense is by sending one to test. Still not sure if Blunjitsu is better than just spamming Spectres. Okay, he looks like he's defending fine, so I'm gonna wait a few more rounds. Actually, I think round 35 could be deadly. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Give him a thumbs up. And yeah, best of luck Asian sensation. Just gonna bloom snipe. I don't know if that defense. I guess we can bloom snipe.
Moon Snipe, Sabo, I might die. I think I did. Oh, he died first. Okay, that's a 3-0. That was pretty close. I thought I was going to die. Okay, uh, I might beat him 3-0. Good game, Asian. So that's it for this R3 Speed Bonanza Bloom Sewer tournament. Hope you guys enjoyed all those tournament games. And I'll see you guys next time.